So far, we've learned how to take significant figures into account when doing all types of calculations, but we haven't really talked about what to do when we're confronted with zeros in the values given to us. We'll do that here. Let's start out with a simple rule. Any zeros to the left of digits are not significant. This means that a number such as 0 0.000047 has only two significant figures, the 4 and the 7. The zeros are simply placeholders, so they are not significant. Think of it this way. 0 0.000047 is the same as 4.7 times 10 to the negative fifth power. Adding zeros to the left of the 4 doesn't change anything. It's still two significant figures. It gets a little trickier when we look at zeros to the right of digits. Let's look at the number 100. There are actually quite a few ways in which we can express this number, depending on the number of significant figures in the value. If our number 100 were a measurement with four significant figures, then we would write it as 100.0. All four digits here are significant, and that's why we report them. If we knew this value to six significant figures, then we would write 100.000. We only report zeros at the end of a number if they are significant. That leaves us with a very interesting situation. How do we report 100 to three significant figures? If we wrote 100, that would represent only a single significant digit, the one at the beginning of the number. By convention, zeros at the end of a number without a decimal point are not significant, so the two zeros are not significant. If, on the other hand, we wrote 100 point, the point indicates that all of the digits to the left of it are significant, and thus all three digits would be considered significant here. What if we had a measured value of 100 that we knew to two significant figures? That can be a little trickier to express. The only way to do so would be to write the value in scientific notation, as 1.0 times 10 to the second power. In this case, the 1 and the 0 are both significant, so we have two significant figures in this value. Let's now look at this number, 0 0.0001200. How many significant figures are in this value? We said earlier that all zeros to the left of digits are insignificant because they are placeholders, so we do not consider these zeros when determining the number of significant figures in the value. We know that the 1 and the 2 are significant, and, in this case, the zeros after the 1 and the 2 are also significant. This means that there are four significant figures in the given value. Let's look at one more example. How many significant figures are in the number 27,510? All of the non-zero digits are significant, but the zero at the end is not significant since there is no decimal point. To report this value to five significant figures, we would write 27,510 point. One note, we only write the decimal point after the ones place if there are decimal places to the right, or if there is a zero to the left that is significant. So, in other words, we would not write 12 point. Let's apply this to a simple problem. An object travels 74.10 meters in 150 seconds. How many significant figures will there be in the speed of the object? Remember, speed equals distance over time. The distance traveled has four significant figures. The zeros to the right of the decimal point are significant, but the time only has two significant figures. The zero at the end, in the absence of a decimal point, is not significant. The speed will be reported to two significant figures, 0.49 meters per second. 